the IMF, they just put up a shocking report that AI may replace humanity totally within the job market somewhere between five and 20 years. And I'll, I'll tell you this, if it happens as soon as five years, the global disruption is going to be a nightmare. Hopefully it's a little farther spread out. But this is happening. This is what you have to understand. This is not the first time in history where we've seen things shaken up in a lot of ways. And this is just life and evolution. And uh, be ready for it because this is very real. We see scenarios planning for an AGI future. I saw some people say, well, you know what? A computer can never do my job. An example, uh, someone today on Twitter, I ran a poll and I asked people, you know, can AI replace you within 20 years? I didn't even go with the five. Most people think, no, it can't. In the one scenario, uh, the person said, you know, I remodel bathrooms, I believe. Fine. Let's just pretend that automated systems and robotics and AI can't do that job. And I think that's debatable. But who are your customers going to be? If your customers were lawyers, accountants, engineers, you know, all of these other jobs that were replaced, like the disruption will be so massive. Who cares if only your job is safe? It really doesn't matter. Society's going to have to grapple with these issues and it's going to be, it's going to be a tough transition. That's for sure. We see AI may be on a trajectory to surpass human intelligence. I would get rid of that may and say it is. And we should prepare, absolutely. And the problem is no one really knows how this plays out. Not the people building these systems for sure. Not government. They have no clue what they're doing. So, you know, just be ready for a disruptive time period. I think that's all we know. The point it makes up here, ChatGPT, released November 2022. It surpassed uh, users by generating human quality text code seamlessly transitioning language, creative content, and answering questions in an informative way at a level previously unseen. So this would be some science fiction or total impossibility just a few years before. And now we've kind of adapted and we're like, yeah, okay, we get it. This is a technology that works, but it can't do all these other things. Well, it's going to continue to accelerate in things that we could not possibly imagine even six months before, you're going to see this technology start doing. It's going to get really strange, really weird. It's a question of how we deal with this. We see yet in the background, the foundational models that underlie generative AI have been advancing rapidly for more than a decade. So GPT didn't just come out of nowhere. We just haven't been paying attention. A lot of us, a lot of people have been talking about this. That this is something serious. We need to take uh, you know serious care to ensure this is built out properly and doesn't just totally disrupt society. But a lot of people have been asleep at the wheel, and now it's getting very real, very quick. And this is the the stat here you need to pay attention to. AI systems have doubled every six months over the past decade in their capability. And what today's leading generative AI models can do was just unthinkable just a few years before. So this is really picking up the pace. So what you look now, if it, it doubles in capability in six months, we're starting to get scary really, really quick. Recent advancements in artificial intelligence have prompted leading researchers to project that the pace of current progress may not only be sustainable, that's the thing, are you gonna hit some sort of wall and you start slowing down? And what the leading researchers are saying is, no, we're not going to slow down. We're actually going to accelerate. So what you see happening right now ain't nothing. It's just going to pick up the pace and go at an even higher model. And we see here this Joffrey Hinton, a computer scientist who laid the theoretical foundations of deep learning, described a significant shift in his perspective. So this is a, you know, a world-renowned researcher within this field. I have suddenly switched my views on whether these things are going to be more intelligent than us. AI that possesses the ability to understand, learn, and perform any intellectual task a human being can perform may be uh, realized within a span of five to 20 years. So you're an attorney. You think, hey, you know, I understand, you know, law better than any machine. This thing, this stuff is going to pass you by, blow you out of the water so quick. And the funny thing is this, this is one of the first things where it's not the lower end jobs. It's not, you know, manual labor that's being replaced. This is some of the highest paying, some of the most prestigious jobs in the world. They're going to be the first to go under. And how does that global economy look? When you take the top end of your economy and just 
they don't exist anymore. Computers do their job better, more efficiently. You know, this is going to be wild. And those services we thought were so valuable now become very cheap, very economical to provide. And it's just going to reimagine the landscape. Again, I asked people here on Twitter, I said, can your job be replaced by AI in the next 20 years? So we're not even talking about possibly as, as soon as five. And people are going through, obviously, this person's unemployed, so they won't. But we have pilot. I mean, how much of pilotry is already done by AI? Uh, nurse manager, healthcare is just going to be, you know, reimagined by this. Make no mistake. Carpenter, I get the idea, of course, like an AI system can't go out there and do physical labor. I think we're going to make huge jumps in robotics and having robotics that can do really fine, minuscule tasks where, you know, we see these uh, robots of, of uh, Elon Musk tripping around. It ain't going to be like that. They're going to be doing very fine uh, and intricate tasks for sure. S same thing here with mechanics, um, farming, cattle ranching, you know, things of this nature. Uh, this individual makes handcrafted, really beautiful. You know, this is a, a chess set. Um, that's pretty interesting. I might get something like this. But, you know, there'll be some jobs where people are like, you know what, I like the way this human does it, whether it might be a radio show, people connect with the person. It could be some, you know, handcrafted goods. Yes, there'll be stuff for humans to do, but we're looking at the large economy. Again, if you took away half the jobs and made those people unemployed, that is going to be such a massive disruption that it's not going to matter that, you know, there's a few jobs here that people still like the human touch. What are you going to do with all those other people? And how are you going to, re what are you going to do with that productivity, which is now almost free because a machine does it? Like, these are the things we have to think of. And again, I don't definitely have the answers for you, HVAC mechanics. So it seems like people that do things that are hands-on, uh, take some form of manual skill and labor. You know, uh, this person's a sales, you know, they sell office furniture. Uh, you know, sales is going to go under accounting, um, any sort of human resources. Like, all these jobs are just going to get churned over to computers. If you want kind of a technical breakdown of this, and I highly suggest this is where I found this report, David Shapiro, probably one of the best AI YouTubers out there. Give him a follow and watch about this report. He just rolled it out here a few hours ago. Uh, just one of the best minds on YouTube where they can break this stuff down, very technical. And just start thinking about this stuff. And don't think you're so safe because even if you really are, you're still not because society at large is at risk. And also... This is just going to be part of evolution and part of life. And again, at one point in time, Earth was ruled by giant lizards, and now obviously it isn't. This is kind of how the universe works. But we are at a point in time where we're going to live through this shift. And for a lot of us, it's going to be jarring. If you think back to maybe your grandparents, you know, you had to have a computer. We went through this shift where... We thought, ah, all this stuff online, you know, business is not going to be done there. And then you can't really function without a computer. And there was a short period of time where people were left behind. They were left out. And now everyone, even old people, have computers in their phones. And they function at a very high level, actually. But it wasn't like that initially. A lot of people were left outside. And they just didn't know how to operate in modern society. It's going to be like this, but probably not just for your very old for a large swath of the population sitting around asking, what do I do? How do I survive? What do I do to add value? We'll get through it. Just understand this is going to be a crazy time in history. Let me know down below what you think. Is this overblown? Our computer's not really going to be able to do all of these things. Or are we on some crazy train time where we're just going to see society reimagine? As always, please like, please subscribe. The revolution will be televised right here on Jungle Link.